Hey, church family. I hope you're doing well on whatever day this happens to be. I want to take a moment to give you an update on a few things. First off, this Sunday evening at 8 p.m., we're going to be having another live webinar. This time I'll be talking with our ComKids director, Christina Bowman, and we'll be learning from her about how we can lead and guide our kids closer to Jesus through family devotions. I know this is a struggle, but an important topic. And many of us, we just we simply give up. But maybe if, if we just had some equipping that led to some experience that would then lead to some confidence, that would be helpful. So she has tons of wisdom, guidance, and resources to share. So you don't want to miss out on this important time. Check your email about an hour beforehand for the link. Second, all of our community groups, they're still meeting, so we encourage you to stay connected. And if you're not in a group, you can join a small group now. Click the link in the email below to sign up. Avoid isolation. It's bad news for your soul. Thirdly, we have tons of people doing so much in our community to meet needs. Tonight, we have a group of folks who are delivering over 120 pounds of food to people in need in our Southwood community. They're buying diapers. They're helping financially. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who's giving, serving, and meeting needs. Did you know that also you could consider inviting someone to church this Sunday? All you have to do is forward the link to the Sunday morning email. We're going to be talking about this Sunday about how Jesus, when he meets the Samaritan woman at the well, it's a great opportunity for people to hear the gospel. And lastly, be sure to click the email, the link on the email below to find week six of Calm Kids at Home. I want to close by sharing a few verses with you. Philippians 4, 6 through 8 says, The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What this passage tells us is that the Lord is at hand. He's nearby to us in all of this. And also that your anxiety is to be taken to him in prayer. And that any and all good things, you should spend some time thinking on those things as well as the challenges that we face. So church family, press on in faith. I love you. I'm praying for you. And keep going.